to my store. Okay, so we're back here today. And we're grabbing some critters. We're going to finish setting the tank up. Doing a video. See the customer's mother's back there. She didn't know why I was talking. So I'll move this back so you can see. Now so she knows on an ankle. Yeah. Okay. So first what we're going to do is check the salinity, see what we got. Last time we were here we threw in three bags of salt and let it go. Okay, we're looking at uh, halfway between 17 and 18. Okay. The easiest way to mix up water, put her down in the top. Oh, he wasn't? Yeah, he was. Yeah, I talked to him uh, yesterday. He said he, I was coming today. So you around? Is he home? No. No? Oh, he just left. Is he coming back? Yeah. Yeah? Soon? Yeah? Well, I'm still here when he gets here. So we brought one royal grandma, two tank raised oscillaris, two blood shrimp, no, two blood shrimp, and one emerald crab. And we brought 100 pounds of live rock. So now we gotta take some water out of the tank so that we got room to put the live rock in. Easiest way to do it, salt bag. In 10 minutes? Oh, I won't be done in 10 minutes, so that's good. Do you have a towel so we can lay down on the floor? So if we put a towel down, then we don't get no water on the roof. I don't have much boy to help me. He got another job. He is now a car jockey. He's not allowed to rent a car and drive it, but he's allowed to drive rental cars. Because he works for the rental company now. So on his very first day, they had him driving people to the airport. He thought that was pretty cool. So you pile the rock in an artistic fashion, trying to make it so you got some uh, water movement so you don't block off the blowers, power heads, stuff like that.
Less than 100 pounds of rock. So that's a good start. You might get more later. The canister filter is on here so that we can use it to put Tammy Pure and stuff like that. And because he has it. Now I use the equipment that you got. In case we get some slops, oh, okay. want to keep everything dry. Yeah. Got a little chunk of fluff right here. Oh, you brought fish too. I brought fish, I brought shrimp, and I brought one crab. Yeah, this is just to start the tank. You don't want to put too much in all at once. Yeah. Like the water's been running two weeks now, but uh, salt's been in a week. Mm. And now we're going for the fish. Let's see what the salinity is. Okay, it's gone up. So if you want to mix salt and you want to make sure it gets mixed fast, you put the bag in the water and then you just keep adding water to the bag. That way the salt's all mixed. And you can see it in the water. Probably looks a little hazy on the camera. Oh. See, basically what you want is the salinity to be right level before we put the fish in. Mm -hmm. If it's a little low, it doesn't really matter for the fish, but the shrimp don't like it. Actually, if you want to treat for parasites, you do something called hyposalinity, where you lower the salinity down to half. And the parasites will die because they can't keep the uh, fresh water out of their body. Do the other way. Oh, power head. 